Today we're going to be using the Y Finance package for Python to get historical and real-time stock data. If you haven't got it installed, then if you just type pip install Y Finance, as you can see, I've already got it installed. And then let's open up a Python file. I'll just call mine example.py. Okay. And then the first thing we need to do is we need to import Y Finance. I'm going to import it as YF. Then next you pick a stock. So I'm going to say stock is equal to yf.ticker. And then you put your stock ticker in there. So for example, you put Tesla in there. You put Coca-Cola in there. Any other stock you can think of. I'm going to leave it as Coca-Cola for now. And then we can't print this stock object directly. It won't print out anything nice. But what we can do is we can print stock.info. And then if we print that out, we get a nice big dictionary there with lots and lots of different facts about Coca-Cola. You can see we've got the full business summary here. We've got uh, what industry they're in, previous market close, what dividends they pay, when they pay the dividend, that's like a Unix timestamp for it. We've got all sorts of information that you can get. So you can get the price by either slicing the ask or the bid or the open. Sometimes the ask and the bid don't work too well outside of market hours so if you're going to be running your program outside of market hours it's a good idea to go with the open or the close and there you go Coca-Cola uh, apparently the open yesterday was 53.08 dollars it's worth noting that all of these prices are in dollars as far as I'm aware that's the default for all American stocks I've only tried American stocks so there we go Okay, so what else can we do? Well, we can also get some historical information. So let's import pandas. And let's say df for data frame equals stock dot history. And then period equals max. So we want as much data as possible and then just print df. And there we go, we've got stock data for every day, every trading day, since 1962 for Coca-Cola in about three seconds, which is pretty cool. And of course you can edit this like you can any pandas data frame, you can slice bits off, you can analyze it. So let's do that, let's give you an example. So the first thing we're going to do is reset the index, and all that'll do is that'll like ungroup the column on the side there so the index well I'll just show you so you see here how it's like date and then the date is used as the index makes things a bit harder to slice data so if you just do the reset index there date now becomes its own column and we can now say do something like this so we'll say df date is greater than say the 10th of October 1970 say for some reason we only want dates after them and as you can see it starts there on the 2184th trading day since the Yahoo data goes back anyway also worth noting that you can get things like dividend information so say you wanted to get all the dividends that Coca-Cola have ever done. I believe it's just stock.dividends. And there you go. Same thing, a data frame full of dividends and when they were paid. Also worth noting that all of this data is coming from the, the Yahoo Finance API, so it's all going to be split adjusted. Obviously, Coca-Cola probably wasn't trading at point. 1.5 cents per share in 1970 
It's just that it's split so many times that the shares appear quite cheap to us nowadays. You can also get the stock splits, I believe. So if you wanted to know that so that you could do some, say, dealing with splits, split adjusted returns, that kind of thing. There you go. So there's a two for one split there, two for one split there, two for one split there, three for one split, and so on and so forth. Now, to finish this off, let's plot our data there and see what it looks like. So we'll say df is equal to our little slice of data and then df.plot x is equal to date y is equal to open let's say and then import matplotlib.py plot as plt of course if you haven't got these packages installed do pip install them uh, but they're relatively common so I'm assuming you've got them and then finally plt.show and that should give us a nice graph there we go so we've got a stock chart of coca-cola's opening price from 1970 well the 10th of October 1970 to fr last Friday as I'm speaking now so there you go hope you found that useful using your projects